Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today on My Favorite Pen, we're gonna talk about a very rare Estherbrook Dollar Pen. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have a very interesting and uh, dare I say rare Estherbrook. Uh, if, if you know me, you know I, I don't use the word rare very often. I think it's uh, maybe an overused word and really should only apply to something that truly is, uh, is hard to find and you, maybe you're not gonna see another, maybe a handful exist. Uh, I like to use the, the term scarce, hard to find. But this pen, I would say, I, I, I'd be safe to say that this pen is truly a very rare Estherbrook. What makes it what makes it rare? What is so special about this pen? Well, let's start out first. This is a standard, what we would call a Estherbrook dollar pen. Um, the reason we call them dollar pens is when they were new, these cost a dollar. Uh, they made a fancier line with uh, marbled plastics, and those sold for $1.50, so we call them uh, $1.50 pens. A little bit easier to remember than, you know, this is a, a B, BR, Model BR, or something like that. Um, so dollar pens, $1.50 pens. This is a kind of a, a it's an Estherbrook dollar pen. It's got the two-hole clip. Um, these ran from 1934 to 1941. This is in a lovely red color. It's a lever filler, uh, fills only from the bottle. Black section uses a standard Estherbrook nib. For you Estherbrook collectors, you've already noticed what makes this pen so, so interesting is it's, it's a full size, uh, what would be the Model B, but the material is a little bit different. Here is a, another Estherbrook dollar pen. A little bit earlier, it's got a little bit different clip configuration. We've got the, the more rounded without the, the line up the top as we do here. Uh, this is a slender model, but that's neither here nor there. These are both red dollar pens. Uh, you'll notice that the patterning on this one here is significantly different than what we have here. So this is a more marbled, or. Uh, um, kind of a swirly pattern. It's, uh, marbles is maybe not the good term for it, right term for it, but um, it's just a different, it's a more flowing, flowing pattern than this. So this is very rigid. This is very th strips of, of thin and then thick alternating slabs. Very similar in appearance to say uh, the Parker Vacuumatic, which was a laminated material. Uh, but these have thin, thick, thin, thick, and it goes all the way around the barrel. So for Estherbrook aficionados, you're gonna recognize that material from this pen. This is the very first Model J pen that Estherbrook ever made. So this pen came out in 1941, it was in the 1941-42 catalog, along with the dollar pens of the era. Uh, and this pen was very special because it was very significant uh, for Estherbrook, their very first Visualated section pen, um, had this beautiful uh, two-tone frosted 9000 series nib. Um, just a really, really lovely pen, but again, here we have thin, thick, thin, thick slab, alternating slabs of material. Very distinctive look. Well, so where am I going with this? Estherbrook never made production pen of a dollar pen in this material, but here it is. and. I've seen a lot of Estherbrooks over the years. Thousands, tens of thousands probably, maybe more. This is the only one I've ever seen in this particular material. So clearly a transition, if we were to put these in period order here, clearly a transition from your standard material through to the ViziuMaster. Um, one can, one can only guess that maybe they made the other uh, four colors in the Vision Master in maybe this. Maybe this was a sample, a test uh, run. Uh, maybe on a Friday afternoon, uh, somebody in Camden, uh, New Jersey at the plant decided he was gonna make uh, a pen for himself. We don't really know. Um, I, I 
bought this pen off of uh, somebody off of eBay, so we don't really even have, I can't even say, uh, I bought it from somebody who was the grandson of somebody who worked at Estherbrook. So we, we don't really know, uh, but doesn't make it any less interesting. It's just a, such a, a fascinating pattern. Uh, Visio Masters are, are, are what I would call in that, that hard to find category. They exist, uh, they're out there. Uh, not always easy to find, but this one is truly a rare pen um, with this material. Um, of course, it's a lever filler, so it, it only fills from the bottle. And you lift that up, put it in ink. Um, it's got the, the plain, plain lever as opposed to what they came out with on the, the J with the little rib on it. And it accepts all your standard Estherbrook Renew points. But always nice to find something that you didn't know existed, uh, and especially something that is a nice continuous run here through you know, the early 30s through 1941. So we can surmise that perhaps this was a you know, 1940, 1941, maybe it's a prototype, we don't know, but it's gonna be very early 1940 uh, time period. Estabrook never stamped their pens uh, with date codes like uh, Parker and some others did. But uh, based on knowing that the Visio Master came out in 41 for that, for that catalog, this is right there, maybe right before. So uh, a really neat, neat pen. And uh, I, I'm a big fan of the flat top design. And this is just really a, an outstanding pen. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have it in my collection. So there you have it, a very rare Esterbrook dollar pen, one of my favorite pens. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com or our stores in Appleton and Chicago. Thanks for watching.